Is this some kind of twisted joke? <laughs> hey, that mask was expensive. Well, shouldn't have dropped it. I've been looking for you. I will take that head from your shoulders and hang it from the gates of Endor! Yeah, he's pretty insane, all right. Stop right there! <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. A rusted bow! My That's favorite! Uh, I think if you repair it, you get some sort of special weapon or something. No, oh. not the bow, Dimitri. Oh, I didn't. I didn't even hear what you said. So that was pretty random. <laughs> uh, I mean, yes and no. He's still under the belief that this is someone that was responsible for like the entire tragedy of like his parents' death and all that. So, you know, he's going a little it, crazy. It was a pretty sudden turn, though. Like, I don't understand why seeing Edelgard's face makes him do that instead of when he just sees the Flame Emperor in general. Uh, well, he still holds Edelgard as, like, a dear childhood friend and, like, family member. Like, yeah, they're not, they're not like, super close I mean, now, like but, like, this, whole, is, like, this is still someone ripping, close to him. Like, ripping people's, like... Oh, that like, part of him, I think, is already... Yeah, yeah, I think he has that just innately, but, like, he's also snapping because... Uh, someone close to him, like, is supposedly responsible for a lot of terrible things. I don't think he understands what being close to someone means. <laughs> he gave her a dagger once! You don't <laughs> understand! <laughs> oh, no, how could I do that? And then they had, like, four conversations after eight years of separation. Dude, that's as close as it gets. <laughs> Before I break your neck, there is one thing I must ask you. But no, you are kind of right. He, do he does kind of snap just a little, a little suddenly. I do also, like... I get that, like, he's got some mental problems going on, definitely. But, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. surely, like, he knows how old Edelgard is. Like, the tragedy of Dusker was a while ago? Was it four like, years, or was it longer? Four, yeah, it's, I think it's, like, four minimum. I, I wanted to say five, but I don't remember the number. Yeah. Like, he's gotta know that, like, oh, wait, when you said you didn't have anything to do with the tragedy of Dusker, like, that must be true, because you were, like, 12 at the time. Right, right, right. <laughs> like... What the yeah. heck were you doing about the tragedy I of wonder, Dusker as a 12-year-old? And a lot of this is just for, for like, the, the defense. Not not that I always feel this way, but, like, I wonder if maybe it's, like, well, you're still involved with, like, the people that did that, even if you didn't do it directly. So maybe that's still, like, bad enough in his mind. I don't know. Uh, maybe he'll even say it outright. I have no idea. I don't remember. <laughs> Stay out of my way. I don't recall giving you permission to speak. Answer my question. That is all you have left to do. Flame Emperor. No. Edelgard. Tell me now. Why did you cause such a tragedy? <sighs> you killed your own mother, and yet you haven't even had the decency to stop and consider the reasons behind your actions. Have you? I already told you I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> It was foolish to think I could reason with a lowly beast. Yeah, he's kind of stupid. No. Yeah. You are a monster. How cute. I think in his brain, though, he he has to rationalize like the enemy as being like not human. Otherwise, he can't bring himself to kill. And I think that's also what kind of makes him go crazy. Because if he stops and thinks about logic for one second, he'll throw himself off like too much. Probably. Maybe. To flee is futile, wicked girl. The Church of Seros will raise She's a wicked girl. Army yeah, right. against you. Love that about her. You have been captured and punished. You have defiled the holy tomb, dishonored the goddess, and humiliated your brethren. That crime will never be erased. Even if you burn in the eternal flames and spill all of your blood into the goddess's soil. Yeah, they're both kind of insane. No wonder they get along. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I also, <laughs> like, 
Dimitri snapping the dude's neck was sick, by the way. Like, yeah. off the, off imagine screen. if he that was like was really, really cool cinematography. Dude, imagine if he was but like a cooler character though, because some of those lines yeah. are like, "Yo, those are so sick." Imagine if this was like Felix like this. Yeah, like <laughs> I do. I think one of my main problems is, first of all, I feel like the buildup for Dimitri overall is lacking to the sudden jump, and I'm mm -hmm. sure there are some people who argue like that's what makes the insane jump that much crazier. And I'm like, eh, I would have preferred like. A little more build up than that one scene where he said like i'm here for revenge and right. then that one time he was like let's burn them <laughs> yeah like he said like one messed up thing once and then just immediately went off the deep end when he saw edelgard also like this whole thing about like oh like edelgard was like his close friend or whatever like from i think the main thing that surprises me about it is from the black eagles perspective it never comes up at all yeah from yeah the, edelgard does not consider him a close friend even slightly i if anything dimitri is holding on to like one summer vacation they had together like i'm pretty sure we're the closest of friends of all time because we hung out that one time when we were six oh, which makes for sure. no sense yeah no it's, it's definitely a bigger but, deal to dimitri but also i don't see how dimitri could consider it a big deal and then his immediate reaction upon seeing edelgard isn't like actually like he asks her the one question and she's like i had nothing to do with it and he's like well you're a liar yeah. but like <laughs> he does not actually consider her much of a close friend if he's like before he even asked the question he's like hey no matter what you say i am going to snap your neck just yeah. to be clear but also answer me and then edelgard answered and he's like yeah well you're a liar anyway so. <laughs> yeah 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 i'm like are you purposefully stupid or were you trained wrong as a joke <laughs> like no, i i really think that he just throws all logic away and just you know like, like, like Felix said, he just turns into a monster. And I think that's kind of what happens. I don't know. But yeah, what's the next course of action? Are you okay? They're there. <laughs> we weren't able to defeat her. Your Highness, I will kill Edelgard with my own hands. I swear it. Let's return to the monastery, Professor. It is clear what must be done. All right, so it's like, it's no secret that I'm not a big Dimitri fan. I think he's the worst of the three lords, mm -hmm. and he's like, if I ever... So, he's finally shown his true face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you tell it, Felix. It, honestly, Felix talking about Dimitri <laughs> gives more build-up to Dimitri's turn than Dimitri does, which is not a good sign, I think. But, um... You know, I'm excited to see what happens in the time skip and see more from Dimitri's perspective. I don't think my opinion is going to heavily change or anything, mm -hmm. but uh, he, I do rank him lower than, like, most of the other characters in the game. But, like... Oh, crud, I had a point. Where was I going with this point? It slipped my mind because I was too busy laughing at Felix. <laughs> <laughs> at Felix's dialogue. Um, oh, I remember what I was going to say. Uh, like... I think one of the things that I really don't like about Felix, and again, maybe my opinion will change as I see more of him from the Blue Lions run, because I've only ever seen him from the perspective of playing Golden yeah. Deer or Dimitri. Black Eagles. Just before viewers get uh, weird. Oh, did I say the wrong name? Yeah, you said Felix. And I was like, you're, uh, he's not here. He's like, on screen. Yeah. It's, it's because he's on screen. I was like, but you're not Dimitri, saying anything think, about Felix. Yeah I'm, yeah, I'm not saying anything about Felix. I'm talking about Dimitri. Yep. But um, I think the thing is, is that Dimitri kind of, especially right now, he just feels like two different characters. Mm -hmm. there's like pre chapter 11 Dimitri who is a character and now there's this Dimitri who is a different character I don't feel like these two characters actually have relation to one another as opposed to like basically everyone else in the game very specifically Edelgard and Claude mm -hmm. it just feels like a completely different dude I think honestly so like Dimitri for me is kind of like a mid mid-tier character and, and i do think uh having like two complete opposite personalities like in one kind of i don't know is part of like what makes him him i don't know but i am also interested uh you might be interested in, in the way that the story takes this because i i think you might think it's going one way but i, I don't know if it's going to go the way that you think it's going to um, well, i guess we'll find out won't we yeah but obviously that, that's you... gonna be like all over like a long time so I also might just have more knowledge than you. You definitely can do a good character that is like feels like two different people. You normally do like a split personality kind of character for that. I feel yeah. like Three Houses doesn't do that very well, though. And yeah, my they could have built it up Constance. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Constance is way more like the straight up split personality yeah. thing. And I don't care for it, really. Like, she's fine, but she's my least favorite of the four Ashen Wolves. But um, I don't know. I feel like... 
it feels really sudden, and I'm, that's probably even what they're going for. But mm -hmm. to that, I'm just going to say that um, just because the writer did something how they wanted to do it does not mean it's good. That's not an argument in my world. Yep. I feel like I hear that argument all the time where, where people are like, well, you just don't understand. This is what the writer was going for. And I'm like, okay, cool. They went for it, and it was bad. Congratulations. You succeeded at writing something that I thought was poorly done. That doesn't, just because it's what the author wanted to get across doesn't suddenly mean like, oh, masterclass storytelling. They nailed it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see as things keep moving forward. We'll see what the, uh, what these guys have to say about, about all this. The same Dimitri I've seen once before. A beast who loves spilling blood. You're wrong. I'm sure of it. There has to be an explanation. I knew he'd been carrying the burden of that tragedy. I understand his thirst for revenge. His family and closest friends, all massacred right in front of him. But it still doesn't add up. There must be more that we don't know. That's true. Dimitri didn't come unhinged until after the Flame Emperor was unmasked. You don't think there's some connection between those two, do you? The leaders of the church have misused its creed to fulfill their true desire. To rule the world. They have fooled the people of Fodlan. Long ago, they divided the empire to create a kingdom. And then, divided that kingdom to create an alliance. They did all of this to make the masses bicker amongst themselves. They caused instability in order to reinforce their own authority. They gathered gold and lived in extravagance. How? By preying on the devotion of those who wished for the goddess's salvation. Those corrupt hypocrites cannot lead Bodlin to true peace. Their foul belief system must be torn asunder so that true wisdom may finally prevail. And so, I have decided, by order of the Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hresfeld, the Empire hereby declares war on the Church of Seros. Woo! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> I cannot believe it. <laughs> yeah, little do you know, uh, people watching this, Chaos was actually in that crowd right there. He was in one of those yeah, suits of armor. Me. I was in the bottom right with my fist up, like, before she even finished the speech. <laughs> Let us recount the situation as it stands, Professor. After you returned from the Holy Tomb, the Adrestian Empire declared war upon the Church of Seros, as well as our allies. Declared war? Edelgard demanded her own father relinquish the throne, and then assumed the position of Emperor. He's she making that up. The church <laughs> Source dude, <laughs> trust me. Evil of this world, ...and is calling upon the people of Fodlin to help her tear it down. Yeah, somebody didn't go talk to Edelgard in Chapter 9. Yeah, you dumb <laughs> idiots. <laughs> That is funny to see, like to this declaration with the Archbishop after the knights return from their investigation. It is funny to see, though, like the blatant misinformation even in another one, because that's not what Edelgard did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, the church is being declared war on there. They gotta, you know, do everything they in their start power. The propaganda to... <laughs> machine early. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Until then, watch over the students. See that they remain calm. Professor, the Empire has declared war on the Church of Seros. How many more people need to tell us this before <laughs> we understand it? <laughs> like, a war? They started a war? A war? Oh my goodness. Comes, sooner or later. You go out to, you happen? go to the fishing pond, and then the fishing guy's like, did you hear that they declared war? Like, like what? <laughs> That's crazy. I've war? never heard about this. <laughs> in Fodlin, at this time of year, in this weather condition, in this economy? Uh, uh don't worry. We can't afford to be optimistic. It's entirely possible the kingdom will be invaded. Settle yourself, Ingrid. We need to carefully consider our options. We can't just act rashly. That will only make things worse. Once we've ascertained the situation, we must return to Ferdiad. Your Highness. Good talk. Yep, yep. Did you ever watch The Land Before Time when you were younger? Yes, I love The Land Before Time. Oh, so that's why you say, yep, yep, you're a ducky stand. <laughs> I, maybe, I didn't even do that consciously, White yeah. clouds, lone moon. That's yeah. what we need to do in a, in a call with RTK and Michael. Let's all, like, which, which Land Before Time <laughs> characters are we? 
Together, the hmm. people of Fodlan relish the beauty of the brilliant moon overhead as another year ends. They recall sad partings and new acquaintances alike, but each person must still walk their chosen path alone. With each day, the presence of spring grows stronger, and yet a lone moon still haunts the sky, a silent reminder, perhaps, of some inescapable truth. Thanks, Dad. I was trying to think of that, and the only one I was like, I feel like RTK can give, like, Spike vibes, but, like... Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I don't know if there's, like, a, a good correlation for, like, everybody else. No, I don't know who Michael and I would be. I don't think we fit any of them, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know. Can I be Chomper? Oh, uh, Chomper. Yeah, Chomper's great. <laughs> Dude, I love that guy. <laughs> what were you doing the first two weeks? Oh, screw whoever's birthday was on <laughs> Lone Moon 11. <laughs> Did we just completely skip a birthday? Unforgivable. I cannot fathom that the Adrestian Empire would embark on such a violent course of action. What did they do? Did they start a war? The fault is my own. I failed to see the wickedness within Edelgard's heart. Is she wicked? She plotted with ill-meaning strangers to achieve her own ambitions and defiled the Holy Tomb. If that is not wicked, what is? Or perhaps Being her a lizard ambitions person. are even grander <laughs> than we know. Perhaps she is planning to make herself a false deity by demonizing the Church of Seros. Very wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely what she's doing. Adrestia received its very name through a divine oracle. To injure the goddess is a sin most foul that shall not be forgiven nor forgotten. We must stop the Empire, and quickly. I have returned, Rhea. Welcome back, Shamir. Were you able to discern the Empire's movements? Their main troops are marching towards Garrick Mach. It is said that they will join forces with Edelgard's army and arrive within two weeks. Two weeks? That is not enough time. It will require all of our efforts just to prepare our defenses before then. We must send notice to all surrounding villages at once. We must order the residents of Garrick Mach to flee for their lives. It will be done. Professor, listen closely. If our enemy invades the monastery, I will have no choice but to stand upon the battlefield. If something happens to me, I am entrusting my sacred duties to you. I have a question. Yeah. If, if like, Rhea dies, like, what sacred duties? Um... Isn't this whole church nonsense that she set up in the first place just to give her a position of power until she can find a way to bring Sothis back to life? Yeah, I guess so. Um, like, she doesn't, because, like, I mean, I guess she does think her mother is a goddess, but, like, surely of all people, Rhea shouldn't believe that Sothis is capable of, like, bringing any sort of salvation, because Sothis literally just got, like, killed in her sleep by a dude. I... I don't know. I mean, she was expecting like, some I sort imagine, of, like, big revelation there, and then... I imagine all the people who... Well, the revelation that she had from Sothis is a lie, isn't it? It... I mean, that's what it seems like, yeah. It's just a lie that she made because it's just her mom. Like, she, like unless Sothis, when she was alive, was telling Rhea, like, I am a goddess and I take people to like it. Like, I imagine the people who follow the faith of Sothis or whatever, imagine, like, probably something similar to, maybe not Christianity, but, like, we're, like, you know, believe in the goddess and you will have salvation. Like, you'll get into some kind of, like, heaven equivalent in, right. like, after you die, right? Yeah. That's what I would expect from what we've seen. Or maybe it's something closer to, like, Buddhism or something. I don't know. Yeah, who knows? But I don't I don't think they go deep enough on it. But when they talk about, like, oh, you will get salvation if you believe in the goddess, that's, that's very, like, similar to Christianity. So that's yeah. why I, like, equate it to, essentially. But the thing is, is that, like, Sothis is not an all-powerful goddess that created all life or anything. Like, how... Christianity is right so like because Rhea knows that like she doesn't she shouldn't at least actually believe in this like salvation like all-powerful goddess whatever she's not all-powerful she got killed by some dude yeah when she was asleep well like still a goddess in some way right just in terms of like I mean she's goddess in the way that Thor is a god yeah in yeah, yeah yeah like so there, there's gotta long, be like can so turn into a dragon yeah but... yeah but so what like... I'm saying is is if Rhea dies, like, what sacred duties? The entire purpose of the church is for Rhea to have a position of power to try to do magical nonsense to bring her dead mother back to life. 
there is no like actual belief system because it's all a lie that Rhea came up with. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I can ask her about these sacred duties. I'm sure she's not going to tell me. Yeah, she's going to tell us right now. Let's go. <laughs> sacred duties? You must have guessed it by now. The truth <laughs> of who you are. Yeah, it's just going to be like, oh, because you're, you're, you're so this now, so that yeah, you have to Don't do, ever you have to go do the to thing. sleep with any dudes nearby. <laughs> they will kill you. Or perhaps I should say your lost memories are surely beginning to return. I have acted all these long years as a mere proxy for you. But the duty is yours, and yours alone. Only you can lead the people of Fodlin. Okay, so Rhea also still believes that Sothis should be like the grand king of all of Fodlin. Yeah, I'm also I'm also wondering, I, I was like, there's means. a chance that she does fully believe in like the whole like God of Salvation. Like even if she is just like, the direct daughter, whatever they like, she could still believe that, like, yeah, she could be insane. You're right. Yeah, like I, I don't know. <laughs> she, she could be <laughs> wild. Uh -huh. Um. Okay, so I get it now. I guess the thing is that like she believes that when Sothis comes back, Sothis should be in charge of like everything. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Still crazy. Yeah. Rhea, please. You must tell me all that you know, I beg of you. <sighs> that one is the progenitor god. Am I correct? In a sense. Our dear professor is a vessel. One who carries the power of the progenitor god. See, even the game knows that Sothis isn't, like, actually a, a like, god. Because they use the little g. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In time, the vessel will become one with the power contained within, and the progenitor god shall return to this world. I this see. is the only route where Rhea says this, isn't it? Or maybe the church route? aware of the questionable nature oh. of this experiment. But I suppose there is no turning back. I thought this was also in, uh, remember in Golden Deer. If, does this happen in Golden Deer? I don't remember it. It oh. definitely doesn't happen in Crimson Flower. Yeah, no, Crimson Flower is the one that's different, because, like, Golden Deer is, like, sort of a similar thing, where it's just, like, you're against Edelgard. For like this part, so like you would still yeah. be seeing the churches. I was expecting us. Thing. I was expecting the blue lines to be more in line with the church. That's how they are in Three Hopes, at least. But maybe they aren't. Um. Yeah. I don't. At least I know right now they are. I don't really remember after time skip. Uh, it's been a while. I ask that you help our friend, and in doing so, help her. I am waiting and hoping. For the moment when our creator rules this wayward land once more. I am sorry, but I cannot do this. I am not certain it is just. Yo, Seth being on the right side of history? Right. That is a shame. What a man. Oh, isn't that why, I mean, in the time skip chapter, doesn't Seth come to, like, help out? Generally? Well, except for Black Eagles ones. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, never mind. Never I mind. have no idea. I think I'm, yeah. I think I might be unrelated. I know that, um... Oh, there's a birthday. I, I think in Golden Deer and also in Black... Oh, wait, look away. Um... Jeez, whose birthday haven't we had yet, even? Good question. <laughs> Just going through a list of characters, trying to figure out who has and has not had a birthday. Do you think Yuritsa's birthday is on this list? I'm gonna say Yuritsa. I don't even know if they list his. <laughs> oh, no, it's Constance. It's Constance. I, I wasn't gonna guess Constance. Yeah, enjoy your flowers. I have my gratitude. All right. Well, I've got a lot of things to do. Don't you always? Not that many support things. Actually, before I forget, we're gonna do this first. We are probably gonna be wrapping up here, but not until to do. You're going to stop failing. You're Asked gonna, him for a lot. You're gonna you're gonna pass your class. You've only failed like three times, maybe even four. Yeah, you did it. Finally. Oh, more Passed. speed. Um, who else needs to be 
I mean, Dimitri, but I think he's just going to stay how he is right now. Violet is in her special class. How close is Violet to being able to actually do Valkyrie stuff? Actually, really close. Hold up. Mm, I'll wait. I'll wait until she masters her, her special class, and then I'll change that. Because that's probably just going to be her class for the rest of the game. Uh, you're equipped... Annette, are you, like, anywhere close to being able to do Sniper? 67%! Closer closer than I thought, to be fair. 67%! Annette, you're so good at- Yeah! I was like, Annette, you're, like, the one that's, like, good at studying and stuff. You should be able to pass. It's like her one skill. <laughs> there we go. Studying and ruining kitchens. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is there anybody else? Uh, oh, Ingrid still needs to... Oh, right, right, right. I decided that I was going to go Dark go Flyer. put her on the bird. She needs more flying. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't remember if I changed her goals to get more flying. I could take a pit stop at Warlock first. Uh, no, 68% can't be done. It's not nice enough. This is a fool's errand. Oh, I actually almost wanted her to fail because of that. <laughs> I, I wanted it to fail, too. <laughs> Sometimes sometimes you have to lean into a bit like that and just hope it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. I must Plus four to fit! Alright, I'll take it. Yeah, alright. We'll just let you do Warlock. Once you're done with Warlock, you'll be ready for Valkyrie. Uh... Oh, hey, Setet's here now. Oh, what? <laughs> Setet is just like on the thing. Wait, but I didn't... They didn't hey, even guys, tell me going? about that. It's, it's me, Seta. So, yeah, the War Cleric, but you're still too far away. I'm assuming you can't even do any of this. Alright, well, I guess Hilda's just gonna be a brigand, like, forever. And by forever, I mean for a couple more chapters. Uh... Okay, yeah, Catherine finished her thing. She's already a Swordsmaster. What was I gonna do with her? Trickster, maybe? Oh. I think it was Trickster. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if you can be a Trickster. It's 74%. This cape does not mm. fit Catherine. The one-armed bit works way better. <sighs> you sure did. Can't believe it. She's a failure. What else do you expect? Uh, before I forget, though, at the very least, if she's not going to do that, let me at least put her back into Swordsmaster. I never turn. Uh, okay. I think I'll do everything else. Well, I I err. We'll we'll go to explore, and then that's where we're gonna wrap it up. All right. Definitely needed those dot dot dots. Um, yeah. On the next time, we'll do all the very many quests around, meaning there's literally one on the second floor and nice. monastery stuff. And, um, we'll get to the time skip. That's we're super exciting. Time skip, man. And we're, then we're gonna we're have, almost there. like, so many supports. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, I don't know if I'm ready for that. But, uh, yeah. And, um, hopefully you're interested in where the story goes, and, uh, it'll be a good time. I mean, I'm always interested. Yeah. But, uh, alright. I'm gonna head out. Have any final words? Nah, man, nah. All right. Goodbye, everybody. See you Word. around in the future. Final.